Hi everyone, how's it going? It's Stu here, and I'm on my island of Bermouse. It's my own little slice of tropical paradise. Now I've lived here for a couple of weeks, and I'm really uh, enjoying living here, and I'm uh, finding my way around and getting things set up. But before I lived here, I lived for a couple of weeks on another island called Otok Rai. And my friend Anki, she lives on Otok Rai. So today, uh, for this first episode, I thought we'd head across, take a look at Otok Rai, and have Anki show us around. So here we go. We're going to jump on uh, the seaplane, and we're going to head off to Otok Rai. Enjoy, have fun. And here's Anki in a very short while. Good morning and welcome to Otok Rai. My name is Anki and I'm a resident here. I came on this island about a month ago. And I'd like to introduce you to the island, its residents and its attractions. So this here is my house. I've got a quite a big house. It has a total of five rooms inside. And I've got a little bit of space around the house with nice purple flowers, a oddly shaped apple type of chair look cocoa tray a statue of a butterfly and my one this is one of my favorite items a peach surprise box that is not working at the moment i have to move it probably i'm right next to a beach where i can go and do some fishing I've got bamboo tree next to me and a beautiful heart-shaped lake right next to my house. If you go up above my house, I've got a beautiful orchard and I grow apples, cherries, pears and peaches. I'm very, very proud of my little orchard and my little flowers. I've got a little plastic pool right here. There's a lot of decoration around the island. There's still more decoration than needs to be done. That's my area right there. Now we get to, we cross the bridge and we go into the residential areas. This is where all the residents of the island live. So let's pay a visit to one of the islands and see how their houses look like. This here is Tammy. Tammy is busy creating something. Let's see what he's up to. He's making a small cardboard boxes. And now what he can do is share his recipe with me. I can ask him that I would like to know how to make small cardboard boxes. <laughs> he wants to be an obviously fashion guru. So he gives me the recipe and I can learn it if I haven't already learned the recipe. I usually share sometimes with him but he's quite busy so I let him do his business and I can learn the recipe. How to learn the recipe that he just shared with me? I can open my pockets with an X. And this is all the fishes and bugs I've caught. Uh, let's say, do I have... No, I don't. So, I learned how to make a small cardboard boxes. Thanks to Tammy. I have a total of 12 of us living on the island. There's 10 residences here, in this area. My house, and there's another one house right next to the residence service. But we'll show you residence service in a short while. I love this color here in this house. Very simple, very cabin looking, beautiful house. So let's show you some attractions. 
This is the resident services. In front of the resident services, you, you see a famous pop star called KK. Everybody loves KK songs. They listen, you can buy a song on the island. You can listen to his music. And he comes here every Saturday to perform. Tonight at 6 p.m., he will have a concert. Hence, decorations with the chairs. And he's doing a rehearsal at the moment and preparing for it. This is the 12th resident here, Kalar. That's the separate house that I was talking about. Now let's go inside the residences and see what we have there. Inside the residences, there's two things that were first to the, uh, that are eye-catching. One is an ATM machine where you can do lots of different stuff. You collect miles from an island by doing chores and you can redeem them. You can shop for items like a regular supermarket shop or you can do savings and put money in your own account. It's pretty cool. Here is where think maybe something that has been thrown away or found on an island and you can put it here for everyone to use. This is Tim Nook to the left. He's a construction consultant. If I want to build bridges, if I want to uh, beautify my house, relocate my house or any one of the residences, I talk to him. If I want to find out, find out what I need to do on the island in terms of beautification, Isabel here will help me. So let's have a chat with both of them and see what they can share with us. So once I sit down, Tim Nook will come over and greet me. Tom Nook. Apologies. So he can help me in terms of what should I do for things like an island, about my home in terms of layouts, how it looks, where it is, and infrastructure in terms of bridges and inclines. So let's go to the infrastructure and see what we can do if we want to build a bridge or we want to build an incline. So let's see if we want to build a bridge. He will tell me how much the bridges cost and a catalog to choose from. So I have two log bridges right now on the island. You can make a suspension bridge, a stone bridge, wooden, brick bridge, iron, red zen and zen. My favorite one is this one. But I won't do it just yet because I haven't done terraforming the island completely. Once I do that, I'm happy with whatever I've done. I'll do a couple of bridges because I cannot destroy or relocate the bridge once it's constructed. Let's look at the inclines. Inclines also have some of the designs. Some of them are quite pretty. And depending on what you've done and how you uh, beautified your island, you can choose a design. So let's go for an incline. So the, I have one that's a natural ramp. You can do regular pink blue. That might be good with the campsite. White. Stone is a nice one. This is a nice one. This would go well with the bridge. So if I have a place where I can connect the bridge in this, that would look really nice. And some steel. So I think I'll stick to my stone. Uh, bridges and stone staircase. I don't want to do it right now as I said. I'll do it later on when I'm more comfortable of how the island looks like and the design. Now let's talk to Isabel. Now Isabel can tell me what's the star rating of the uh, island. Maximum star rating of an island is 5 at the moment. I believe I am three. So Otto Krai has a three star rating. So let's look at the feedback. Oh wow, somebody wants another second play. Very good, we might have that later on. So there's a very... There's always a room for improvement. What is it that I need to do to improve the island? It needs to be decorated. And I have to have furniture and dress it up. 
So I can buy stuff or make stuff to put it in an island and its scenery. I can also talk to her about a couple of other things. Island tune, if I want to change it. If I want to change the island flag, I can do that. Any sh I can customize it or I can make, give any design that's already available. I can discuss a resident. Perhaps I don't like a resident in an island. They're making a lot of problems or issues and I can try to see if I can get rid of the resident or, ta or address the issue. Or I can just say, thank you very much. I've got what I wanted and I'll leave. So that's residential services. Uh, they're open 24 seven. They're the only thing that doesn't close. ATM is always open. You can always come in here. The rest of the attractions do have opening and closing hours. This is a museum. Museum is open from 8 in the morning till 10 in the afternoon. It has four different exhibitions and it has an owl that is its curator. A curator takes care of the museum. So we have fishes here on this side. Lots of beautiful fishes. Still relatively empty. <gasps> There's a snapping turtle, my favorite. And a koi fish right next to it. Aren't they just beautiful? There's a catfish there as well. Crawfish. Well, we do. There's a lot of different fish that I caught. And I, if, I, if it's the first time that I catch some... Angel fish. I love angel fish too. This is an angel fish. Some of them look really, really pretty. And some of them are very, very real. So if I catch a batch of fishes that I've never caught before, I will then give it to museum first so that they can put it in the aquarium and other villagers and me can go and visit. This is a bug area. Not my favorite area because it's got a lot of bugs and spiders and bu beautiful butterflies. One of my most fam one of my best exhibits here is this little creature, the blue one there. It's a bug. What's it called again? I forget. Let's see, does it say here? No, that's a jewel. Rosalia Batessi beetle. Batessi beetle. Isn't that pretty? In the citrus longhorn beetle. So you can catch all these beetles on us tree stumps, little butterflies, honeybees. We've got more koi fish here. <gasps> this is a moth. Aren't they pretty? There's all sorts of bugs in here, and there's fishes along with the bugs. One of the most I don't like catching is the water bug, giant water bug, not my favorite creature. It's right there, giant water bug, very ugly looking thing, but very good. What are these? Interesting. I think this is a butterfly section. Um, the giant water bug is very ugly. I don't like catching it, but what to do? It, it can give me a lot of money. This is butterfly area. Look at all these beautiful butterflies. I, I love spending some time here. Oh, so gorgeous. This is Queen, uh, Queen something. Tiger. Queen Alexandra's Birdwing. Beautiful. It's very detailed, the museum, and has lots of creatures. It would take you probably a whole day just to spend and examine every single creature available. But let's get to other attractions and see what's 
What's next available? Let's go to the dinosaur one. There's a very impressive dinosaur collection. Lots of skeletons, completed skeletons of dinosaurs. So let's say what it is that we've caught. All right. This could be Diplodocus, isn't it? He's big. I think it was a herbivore. Then we've got unfinished one here. Dimetrodon. So I only have the back side of Dimetrodon. I'm missing probably uh, two more pieces. Wow. Then most of the skeletons here are completed. This is Brigius. There's also missing a head. He was also a, I believe, I don't know, I think he was a herbivore. Some of these are completely finished and looking absolutely fabulous. Quetzalcoatlus, Quatlus. Wow. He must have been only available in Latin America. Because Quetzalcoatl is American. Pterodon. Quetzalcoatl is a Inca Zumaya's god. Ophthalmosaurus. Ah, Not like a fish. Cute. Plays you so oh wow, that's a long neck. Archelon, that looks like a Turtle Descendant. So if you're into dinosaurs or want to learn more about dinosaurs, you can learn here. The last part in the last section of the museum is paintings. I only have two paintings in the museum at the moment and I'm slowly getting the collection ready. One of my favorite painters of all time, Van Gogh, is available there and, and, he, and that's one of my favorite paintings of his. He has two paintings that I really like. It's the Sunflowers and Starry Night. I have the sunflowers and I'm quite proud of that. Here we are, the sunflowers by the Van Gogh. Beautiful. Made in 1888, oil and canvas. And this is a Moody painting. That was the first painting I put in and this is the only two paintings I have available. It's The Sower by Jean-Francois Millet. Well, both of them are in the 19th century. Oh, wow. And you get an explanation. Ah, oh, see? I didn't know that. I've learned something new today. He this painting, Van Gogh was inspired by this painting. Van Gogh is my, one of my favorite painters, so it's nice to learn new things about him. It's missing a lot of statues and paintings in this particular section of the museum. So that completes the museum tour. The next attraction is a supermarket called Nook's Cranny. In here you can buy and sell items. So once I catch fishes or bugs, I can sell them here and make some bells. The currency used in Animal Crossing is called bells. And Usually what's available is some of the household items, flowers, or recipes. It's run by Timmy and Tommy. And I can check items that's hot today. The high value item is a stone stool today. So if I make stone stool, I can make a lot of bells uh, for it. I can also check turnip prices. Turnips are like stock market for Animal Crossing. It's like buying stocks. It's 120 bells today, but tomorrow is the day to buy turnips and then you sell them when it, the prices are really, really high and you can make up to three times as much as you invested. But today what I'll do is I want to sell some of the items I have in my pocket. Some of the fishes and trays. I'm not going to sell fruit. I think that's it. There's a little shell there. That's it. I'm not selling any fruit. And the clothes I'm not selling either. So I have 91,000 bells. And I made 
1520 bells. I can buy all these items as well, like a bucket for instance. Maybe I want to buy the bucket. Let's see how much the bucket costs. The bucket costs 1000 bells. If I want to buy it, I just tell them I'll buy it or actually I'll pass. I'll pass on this one because I don't have an interest at the moment, although it might probably could be a good decorative piece. And here we come to the last attraction of the day. Something that every woman needs on her island. Designer shop. Able Sisters. Able Sisters make their own clothing and sell them on the island. They have daily, um, inter daily offers as to what they want. This is Mabel. Mabel is the one that follows you around and shows you what's uh, available today. Today I bought, as you can see, yellow boots that I'm wearing right now are those yellow boots right here. I have this outfit that I bought as well. In the entire outfit, the shirt, the hat. I bought a dress like this as well. This is her sister, Mabel. Mabel is not really Sable. Sable is not too talkative, but she does talk to you sometimes. It takes a while. And sometimes she just goes on a rant as well, which is kind of cute. Here is where you can see all the latest designs from the local shop, and here is you, you can make it. You can get a design from famous artists such as Valentino or Gucci or things like that. You can get them into your phone. But we'll show that some other time because I need to have the code to access it. And last but not least is the campsite and the little garden that's right next to it. We have a visitor in the campsite at the moment and she wants to move in into the island. And we can also play basketball hoop here. Um, so this is our little garden full of flowers, some decorations that are in the next level. So if I want to climb up, I have to use ladder if I don't have an incline. Got a little nice decorative table in the well. If you want to stop by and just do a picnic. If you want to sit down on a stool or just play with a giant panda, you can. A little pond here with the waterfall. And we just come to the edge of the island, really. This is the, the edge of the edge of the island. This is called the secret beach. This is where you can also do some fishing and a bit of tranquility if you just want to get away from everything. All the islanders and all the noise outside. We're back to the orchard and back to my house. And there you have it, folks. My favorite thing in the house is my little snapping turtle pet. I haven't named him yet. I think it's a he, but I haven't named him yet. I will. He reacts like that. He's so cute. He's got a little fishbowl there as well. Here is my little study. I've got a, quite a few interesting setup over here. When I need to do my work, I do a little bit of work and I have a little bit of rest time. I listen to some music, I always know what time it is. Or if I just want to relax and watch some TV. You can't sit on the apple chair, can you? Oh, there you go. And I want to sit and watch some TV. Don't mind the skeleton that's on the left side, that's just a decoration to scare people off. If they want to come in unannounced. I have a nice bear family. If you have suggestions for how to name my snapping turtle, feel, feel free to contribute because I'm quite confused. I don't know how to name him properly. I've got my bear family. I've got Papa Bear, Mama Bear and a Baby Bear. I've got a goldfish and another type of gold, bug-eyed goldfish. And that's about it. 
I think that would wrap it up for today. Lots of other different things that we can talk about next time when you come and visit Otok Ride.